somewhere out there in the wild, a new story is beginning. A story tucked away in none other than the brand new Hell Roaring Mountains, where we have a brand new wolf looking over ooh, at some of the mule deer that apparently are in the area. Now, I don't think she would turn down that kind of meal, though it already looks like there's a lot of different prey that you can see from up here. Is that a moose? Okay, that one probably doesn't count as prey. Even our brand new wolf, Ginger, knows that. And yes, hello, my friends. It has been a while since we have been among the wilds with the wolves. And after giving it quite a bit of thought, we're going to take a deep breath and break away from the other packs that we have been tending to for so long and just start a new simple story with the founding member of a brand new pack line, Ginger. And she's she's actually um she's actually kind of your your everyday 2-year-old wolf did well enough growing up with her family. Not really a lot to talk about. Once upon a time, they may or may not have snuck a little like cow off of somebody's pasture, but those are those are absolutely uh, irrelevant memories compared to the time that you know her siblings chased a porcupine up a tree and basically instead of it being about prophecies and legacies she's a wolf here in the wilds and i have a feeling that her story especially after there have been so many changes to wolf quest since we last ran with our wild wolves i think her story is going to be enough to really inspire and fulfill us for now. But we'll have to see what she does with her opportunity to go ahead and try out life. And um, when I say try out life, I mean, you know, you really want to just go ahead and dive in because we all only get one chance, right? We all only get one chance. Like, we're playing Iron Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> We are going to be trying out a new staying on accurate, which is the hardest challenge attempt of being an iron wolf wolf pack. And we're going to follow Ginger for as long as we can keep her alive and have a plethora, theoretically, of her pups to be able to follow for the next generation. But that does mean that we're assuming that I'm going to be good enough after having been away so long to go ahead and be able to actually, you know, make these hunts succeed and keep the pups alive when we are going to be staying on accurate Iron Wolf only. This may be a short-lived pack, but not every story lasts forever. So we're going to do our best. I, I can only hope that those of you who care about Ginger's fate We'll, we'll be able to take some deep breaths because it's not going to be pretty, I think, as I get used to, you know, going ahead and actually trying to discover what it's like to have our wolf rushing through life. <laughs> but, oh, dang it, I lost track of the one who was laying down and sick. <laughs> but I hope you will forgive me as we go ahead and we begin. Okay, actually, oh, there's mom. Okay, okay, watch out, watch out, watch out. Not bad, Ginger! <laughs> Especially because I didn't really see where we were going. All right, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ginger, Ginger, you're gonna wanna move. But we're almost done. Wow, that was actually a lot more successful than I was anticipating for her very first hunt. And also, you know, for our first hunt after so long. But there we go! Not bad, not bad. Uh, I mean, I can only imagine that, you know, Ginger feels like, hey, cool. <laughs> it's good to have a little bit of food, though she's not terribly hungry at the moment. Kind of a little bit of a waste there, but it'll just have to do. Okay, and actually that was a lot of wolves, like, responding to our howling, which I wasn't actually anticipating. Uh, especially because we're in a new place and I'm used to our young wolves who are just beginning their lives kind of having a minute before we start to have to deal with all of the other packs. But um, yeah, Ginger's story, not only Iron Wolf, not only staying on Accurate Challenge, not only are we going to try to follow her for until she dies, basically, uh, but we're also here in a brand new world. 
literally because it's hell roaring mountain now available to anybody who wants to snag it is the dlc off of wolf quest's steam library or their itch.io uh accounts as well um i don't think you needed me to tell you that if the absolute explosion in my comment section in our dms from the patrons in my email is indicative of anything it's that you already knew <laughs> that there was a new wolf quest dlc let's just say i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure you guys got the message and you sent it along to me in mass so we are here on the largest of the maps that wolf quest has ever released and it is going to offer up quite a bit of new challenges because there's a whole bunch of different types of geography including several creeks that we are going to be oh enchanted forest hey now don't mind kicking whoever lives there out <laughs> oh geode marsh come on these are such fun names coyote creek bull mountain we work our way over to yellowstone national park up in the like well like northwestern areas cottonwood creek and antelope marsh oxbow bench a tornado drainage what a name <laughs> but this is the new world that potentially our new pack will begin making their own and who knows we might even be able to keep this pack going for several generations thus also starting to earn ourselves some of the achievements that i haven't touched yet which there's 77 achievements i still need to unlock and i realized hey that's a good goal <laughs> So we'll see how that works out too. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna let Ginger kind of tell her own story. And so far she is a much better hunter than I anticipated. And at two years old, she doesn't really have much going on just yet, but she might make it maybe to eight, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, so far, to be honest, I feel like it's all her doing the survival, but she's doing it. Uh, and she basically is just kind of like, like I said, your average wolf ginger, 1345 female. Oh, and speaking of the numbers for the different names of wolves, uh, there's the new factor of being able to keep track of known wolves. New to me, at least, since I've, I've been away with the stuff going on for a while but here we are with our new story and the ability to go ahead and keep track of wolves in the other packs who will start keeping themselves around and making themselves reappear when we have the cottonwood creek geode and coyote creek packs go ahead and start showing off their established uh, little territories i really hope they have some dispersal like kids hey hey hey, hey. when did you get here <laughs> excuse me <laughs> Have we just been sitting there, like, chatting to ourselves? Kind of thinking about there being other... Get out of here, mountain lion. That's mine. No, no, no. Here, you guys turn around. Can I chase you towards the mountain lion? Please. Can you I, go... Ah, ah, okay, I ran right into a tree <laughs> or a boulder. Yeah, go this way. Other way. Other way. Other way. Or, you know... I guess second meal, but I don't want to accidentally hurt ourselves. Because there's a lot of damage that you could take while avoiding an angry elk mother. But maybe taking down two elk that quickly will help us out with being able to impress a mate sooner. And I don't know if Ginger really wants to mess with a mountain lion. Whoa, look at the flora! Wow! Oh man, I wonder if we're gonna have like new plants to investigate because this already, good luck Ginger, with me guiding you. Uh, this already looks quite different. And with me guiding you, who knows how things might go. All right, where'd those two go? Wow, it's been a while since I've even thought about things like scent view. Um, whoops, okay, there's the mom. They're colliding down this creek. All right, I take it back. I was worried eh, we wouldn't be able to tell. Ah, okay. We really want to be careful then. Okay, there's a couple coyotes. Come on, you two. I don't really want to lose track of them just in case that's good for us. Mule deer nearby, snowshoe hare, coyotes. But also, we're kind of. We're kind of bruised from our fighting earlier. It might just be worth it to go back. 
and see what's going on with the kill that we already made. But at the same time, being able to take down two elks so quickly really might impress a mate, which would be quite wonderful for us. This is a good elk mom too. If you get away, little one, at least you'll be able to grow up with a few a few scars and a story to tell. And if you don't, think of the wolf pups. <laughs> okay, whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, this mom is quite quite defensive. Where's the rest of the herd? Wow, they've really scattered this time. Wait for it, wait for it. There's a moose around here as well. Is that a horse or a moose? Oh my gosh, it's a moose, but it just looked a little bit like a horse in the distance and I was about to have some concerns because we are no longer in a protected area for wolves, which means that we might have to deal with some unexpected consequences. Uh, let's, is my food nearby? <laughs> Actually, my meal is kind of close by. Is this my food? No, these are some coyotes. Aha, this way. We might loop back around for that hunt. Get out of here. I really don't feel like fighting this mountain lion, though. Especially not after we're kind of exhausted from fighting already. Ah, oh, that's going to attract all sorts of other predators, isn't it? Uh, oh, and we haven't even, like, marched some territory to be able to find a good place to try sleeping. Ah. So we cannot claim our territory yet because we haven't really established, you know, the dominance of us being in this area. Fine. Where did that elk go? Let's see. Boxwood. The boxwood herd. Once they reach the main herd... Ugh, their scent's gonna get all tangled up with everybody else, isn't it? What? Is that you? Eh! Eh! Maybe? Take a little nibble. Nope. Ouch. Okay, I just got run over by- ooh, 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 ooh. There you are. Okay. Okay. Ah, my health is way too low now, but the elk is almost down. And I really don't want to fight the mountain lion, but I really don't want to kill Ginger in like the first two seconds. All right, maybe we'll just follow along and kind of see if that elk mom can like trip over a convenient boulder or just fall behind in general. Like right now. Nope. Wow, she was clever. She slowed right down. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, not bad, I think. Does that count? There we go. Both the elks have now been taken down uh, right away. In the past, it has taken us a, a lot longer in order just to show off the basics, but I mean, she may not have a long heritage of endless legacies before her, and she may not have just a lot of ancestors talking to her from the stars, like some of our previous Wolf Quest adventures. But it looks like Ginger kind of has at least the basics of being a wolf. As long as I don't get her killed by, you know, the fact that now she's bruised and battered and extremely exhausted. <laughs> And uh, her health is very low, so we might need to be a little more cautious, but maybe that would be a little easier once she has a mate and her own. There we go. So we need to go ahead and we need to find a mate and we need to defend our territory. So the male wolves are more likely to disperse than female wolves. Lucky us, we're the female looking for the male. So you'll find more males amongst the dispersal groups and more females interested in courtship and rival packs. Portable wolves will have a little heart. Yes, that's going to make life so much easier. And you can see little scent view panels now. Oh, thank goodness. Howl and nearby dispersal wolves will howl back while an, uh, with a white icon marking the location. Rival wolves, wolves may also howl back, so we got to watch out for them too. We can go ahead and do the courtship like normal. And genetic diversity helps produce healthy pups. Neighboring pack dispersals may be more closely related to each other and thus have lower diversity. Always consider coat color. Two black wolves tend to have smaller but healthier litters, while two gray or a black and gray wolf will have larger litters, but pups will be more susceptible to disease. So, 
I am very happy with that. And we're not dead, which now that I remember like, oh, we probably should be a little bit more cautious. Pretty happy about that. And I think we kind of went full circle just now. Like one second we were going ahead. Oh, the coyotes are already taking my food. Um, oh, wow. And with the coyotes nearby, or maybe it was the mountain lion again, we couldn't actually sleep. But there we go. Wow. Wow. We did it. It's been so long. I didn't actually know if we could do it, but we did it. And here we are. Letting Ginger go ahead and rest some very, very sore muscles and probably a really sore jaw as she starts figuring out the first steps of this new story for us. I'm really happy about this. All right, let's let her rest. And then once she feels like she can catch her breath, we'll start seeking out a mate and we'll try to figure out what her story will become. And we'll go ahead and actually try to, to see if we can figure out what her pack name should be. Oh, what should they be like? For now, we'll let her guide us. And we'll also be frantically collecting, you know, hopefully dozens of suggestions that you guys might have for pack names and ideas and pup names and themes for potential mates and other rival packs and so on and so forth. And yeah, there's a lot of... There's a lot of who even knows what we'll discover just yet to be excited about for the future of where the story will go. Thanks, Ginger. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.